Welcome to the 2016 FIM Maxis Super Enduro World Championship. Another season of high octane action awaits with the world's best enduro riders. Before we get to the action, let's have a quick reminder of how Super Enduro works. The winner of the Super Enduro World Championship is the rider who scores the most points in the six events. At every venue, 16 riders qualify for the prestige finals. Qualification is decided by the Super Pole run against the clock. The eight fastest riders from practice battle for the best position in the starting row. There are extra points on offer for the top three finishes in Super Pole. At each event, there are three main races. There are 16 riders on track at the same time and almost all of them score points. 20 for the winner, 17 for second, 15 for third, all the way down to one point for the penultimate rider. Only last place goes home empty-handed. The points for the races and Super Pole are added up to determine the overall standings and, of course, the winner. The Atlas Arena in Lodge hosts our first race on the challenging course and we got a rider's eye view from British rider Paul Bolton. So here we are, we're looking at the, uh, the, first, the first lap of the, of the track here in Lodge and that's off the start gate right there. We're straight up into the logs and tyres, just into the deep sand. This is going to be a tricky section, this bit, but it's really cutting out now. Over the, This is going to be a jump. I just thought I'd ride through and show you guys just how deep the hole was, but that's going to be jumping every lap or you're going to be losing too much time. Nice rhythm section there into a really good berm, possibly taking the inside into the turtles backs and uh, you know you've got to choose Donatello, Michelangelo, whoever, them Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles couple of tricky rocks there this is quite a naughty one big bigger logs you're gonna have to roll through them nice skate park launch ramp there and then we're flat out now to the lumber boom getting a bit wobbly there because you can you never know it's a bit of a lottery going into them sections now we're going to try and get on the gas heart we did do but we lost the back end as you can hear screaming a little bit um, and then it's just finally down the steps boom over the double it's going to be crazy it's going to be some really awesome racing here. Onto the prestige category Super Pole and the Atlas Arena erupts for their hero, Taddy Blazuziak. Taylor Robert watches from the sideline. He can see that this is going to be a fast time. Ah, oh, 48.05. Blazuziak goes into the number one spot. But there's still the small matter of Cody Webb to come. 46.89. So he's over a second quicker than the reigning world champion. Cody Webb throwing down the gauntlet with the first Super Bowl win of the year. He gets the additional three points. Two points go to Taddy Blazuziak in second and one point for third place Johnny Walker. Cody Webb with a Super Bowl win, but there's another Super Bowl to overcome if he wants to win the championship. The man they call the Polish Nightmare. Six-time Super Enduro champion, Taddy Blazuziak. Super Enduro, what I love about it, it's so intense, you know, there's so much going on on the track and it's so crazy, so uh, yeah, I love everything about it. Blazuziak will be a hard act to beat, but a seventh championship won't be easy for him with American Enduro Cross champion Cody Webb and hard Enduro champion Johnny Walker both breathing down his neck. This year is for sure the ultimate goal is to win the Super Enduro Championship. You know, it'd be incredible to pull that off and you know, I think I'm a little bit more prepared coming this season. It's good, you know, to be back racing indoors. I finished on a high last year with winning the race, so, you know, I'm looking forward to it and uh, I think I can maybe do it this year. Webber Walker will definitely be hot on his heels, but one notable absence this year is Isle of Man rider David Knight. He was a massive thorn in Blazuziak's side last year, but doesn't have a ride this season. You know, he's a legend, so uh, definitely it would be cool to have him, but, uh, but yeah, that's the way it is. It's definitely a good lineup, you know, there's a lot of good guys coming from America. And they're going to be good, but, you know, there's also the European guys, and obviously there's going to be one or two riders that weren't so good last year, but they'll be really good this year. It's not going to be easy for Taddy this year. He's had the target on his back for so long, but all the other riders stepping up each and every year, and I think it's going to be a little bit different this season. Everyone's going to be pushing for a lot more wins. I'm hoping it's me, but, well, time will tell. After being hit by glandular fever last season, there's also a question mark over Blazuziak's fitness this year after so much time out of the saddle in the off-season. It's, uh, it's been a tough year with, uh, with my health, you know. I've been uh, feeling really, really weak like by the end of Super Enduro and uh, I've been off training for over three and a half months, you know. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been difficult, you know. And, uh, but yeah, I've been back in training for two and a half months now and uh, feeling better and better. So I think we're ready to go for sure. Yeah. 
The defending champion may be ready, but so are 15 other riders for the start of the Super Enduro Championship here in Poland. Cody Webb, number two. Teddy Blazuziak right next to him, defending champion, triple one. And now on the left of the picture, 22, Johnny Walker, the young Englishman. And look at that then, it's Taylor Robert, the American, out front. Johnny Walker goes with him. Where's Blazuziak? Blazuziak in the... Oh, Blazuziak makes a mistake in the logs and goes down there. Lillison involved with him. So the triple one of Blazuziak right buried back in the pack at the moment. Lillison, second in last year's junior championship, showing he's not scared to rub plastic with the big boys in the prestige class. Back to the leaders. Cody Webb on the number two bike round the outside. It's Taylor Robert leading. And Cody Webb now putting some pressure on Johnny Walker. Walker responds and takes the lead there. So now Walker in the black kit is out front. Webb trying to go with him. Taylor Robert, the American as well, fighting there. Walker goes big off there. Cody Webb and Taylor Robert both fighting to stay with him at the moment. And both those riders coming in off the back of the Enduro Cross season. The American equivalent of this series that just finished two weeks ago. Their summer series it is. So no question these two riders are on form, but it's Johnny Walker leading. There's Teddy Blazuziak back in the pack, fifth place for him at the moment. So he's got some work to do. The crowd will get behind him. Cody Webb on the number two bike, fighting to stay with Johnny Walker. Cody Webb regaining that American title. Two times a winner back to back of that now. America's finest. Oh. Walker sending it clean over the top of that big obstacle there. So these two in a class of their own at the moment. There goes Taylor Robert, number 33. Actually podiumed at every Enduro Cross race in America this summer that he raced. And had the beating of Cody Webb in a lot of those races. But Johnny Walker, is this his time now? The young man from Cumbria in the UK. Brilliantly winning. The last Super Enduro race of last season. Definitely carrying that form over to this season. Cody Webb, the American champion. Picking his way carefully through those rocks and tree logs there as well. Hasn't given up yet, but Walker now. Oh, starting to have a good lead. Gets really messy over that big jump there, though. And this race is only six minutes long, plus one lap, but believe me, they're one of the most physical things you can do on a motorcycle if you ask any of these riders. There's Blazuziak now up to fourth place. So the Polish nightmare is having a nightmare. Could have expected a lot, lot more than this tonight in this opening round, but Super Enduro. Things do go wrong very, very quickly, and he's fighting back valiantly. Johnny Walker goes through in the black there, the number 22, the leader. Cody Webb looks like he's catching him up a little bit. Webb, well, Webb buying his time and riding cleverly, and now he is starting to catch Johnny Walker and put Walker under real pressure. And in Super Enduro, pressure is not good. It's when mistakes happen and things go wrong. So, Walker now. Uh, well, there's an example of things going wrong. A lapper actually goes down in front of Johnny Walker, costs him all sort of time, and now Cody Webb is leading this first race. First race of three, remember? So Webb, the American champion, leading this one. One Grand Prix win to his name in the career. Second in last year's World Championship. Perhaps Mazuziak's biggest challenger this year. Will it be the man behind him, Johnny Walker? But look at the pace of Cody Webb through those logs. Absolutely flawless riding from him. Showing that the recent switch from two-stroke machinery to the four-stroke KTM, suiting his style perfectly. Johnny Walker, number 22, in second place at the moment. Into the logs, where he lost the lead. Safely through there this time, no back markers crashing his way. Super Enduro can be chaotic, and this time it went against Johnny Walker. Well, there's Taylor Robert on the number 33 bike, now coming under pressure from Taddy Blazuziak on the triple one. Walker. Second place, through the logs for the last time. Blazuziak in fourth, really starting to pressurise the 33 of Taylor Robbie. He hasn't got much time left to do it. And that's one thing that will please Cody Webb. Looking like he's going to take this first race win here. Cody Webb then, the American champion, bringing that form with him to Europe. An absolutely brilliant first race for him. Webb salutes the crowd.
a dream start to his season. Johnny Walker crosses the line in second place. He won't be too disappointed with that. But I think the same won't be said for that man there. Taddy Blazuziak, the defending champion, down in fourth. Cody Webb then with the race one win by just over three and a half seconds. And look at the Americans in there. Taylor Robert in third and another very fast American in fifth. Watch out for Colton Haker. Perfect way to start out the night, you know. Hot, uh, super pole and then win the first heat. Kind of reminds me of last year when I was leading all the way to the last lap and crash. I didn't throw it away this time, so really happy. Yep, yep. Colin Haker and Johnny Walker talk tactics, and they need to for race two as everything is turned on its head. The fastest eight qualifiers from Super Pole that filled the front row in race one now have to go to the rear row of the grid. They'll be back on the front row for race three, but everything is turned up on its head here. Race two about to get underway. Who's going to get the whole shot then? And it's Aurelia Nadesso from Paul Bowen. Bolt's actually the rookie of the year from last season where, oh well look at that, Blazuziak, triple one, buried right back in the pack, Taylor Robert there with him as well. So, that second row grid has really hurt some of the superstars, they've got work to do. And there's Colton Haker going through. Well, everything turned on its head like we said. Colton Haker, is this going to be his chance to shine there on the number 10 bike, dressed in white, to the front now. Johnny Walker, not far behind him on the number 22. He's going to have to watch Colin Haker. Haker actually crashed on lap one of one of the American races this summer, the Enduro Cross National Series, and battled back through to take the win. Passing the likes of Taylor Robert and Cody Webb on his way. There goes Taylor Robert on the 33 bike. Oh, and it's carnage. So who's that gone down? 114, Ty Tremaine, junior world champion from last season, in trouble. And it's Haker out front on the Husqvarna machine. Will jump anything, this man. Very, very aggressive style. Look how much pace he's carrying around this course. Where's Johnny Walker? Well, the gap is big. Walker back in fourth, still unable to get around these two riders. He won't like that. Taylor Robert there. Oh, Taddy Blazuzak closer to us on the triple one bike. And you can see how hard he's trying. Risking absolutely everything and getting in more and more trouble. Still unable to make the pass on Taylor Robert on the 33. Well, race two, always something very exciting to see. Cody Webb right there as well. Race one winner on the number two bike. Haker at the front. Nice lead already. Johnny Walker up to second place. Both these riders now will be trying to breathe, trying to compose themselves. Sell into a rhythm. Now the frantic lap one is out of the way. Johnny Walker, former junior trials champion as well. Like a lot of these riders come from a trials background. Sport wearer, you ride over obstacles with your feet up. Not so much feet up in this game, more about speed. So Walker, seven now and a quarter seconds. The gap back to Taddy Blazuziak, his teammate on the factory KTMs. Zuziak won't give up six times back to back the world champion in this sport a sport that he has made his own but it's looking like in this race he's gonna have to give it up to Johnny Walker there on the 22 really trying to close down Colton Haker Haker in the white gear absolutely brilliant performance from him I've only seen him actually at one super enduro before that in France at the end of last year he was battling the flu virus this his second trip far far more successful so walker on the 22 unable to close that gap down it's going to be another second place for johnny he won't be too disappointed with that solid races from him but he will be looking for a race win that's for sure but it's not going to happen now this one race two belongs to the american colton haker an absolutely faultless performance, leading this one almost from start to finish. Haker takes his first Super Enduro race win. Johnny Walker comes across the line in second again. But it's the young American on the Husqvarna that has certainly showed us what he's capable of. So it's an American clean sweep in races one and two. Taddy Bazuziak, the defending world champion, does go one bar, moves up to third in that one. And race one winner, Cody Webb, down in six. That was awesome, you know, starting the second row, actually worked out to my advantage this time. I was able to make it through pretty quick and 
I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, like you said, my second ever Super Enduro, so being my second one and getting a win, I'm, I'm excited. Well, Johnny Walker there takes some valuable time out to check into his social media. Teddy Blazuziak does what he can to relax. No race wins so far. All smiles in the American camp. We go down to the line for the last junior race of the evening. And it's Manny Lettenbickler there on the number 304 bike, the German rider who has dominated so far this evening. Winning the first two races, doesn't get the whole shot though. That honor goes to Joshua Gotts then from the UK on the number 26 bike. In second place at the moment, it's Gethin Humphreys, another rider from the UK. These two bar to bar. Well, these juniors don't take any prisoners. Saw some incredible racing from him last year. There's Manny Lettenbickler now, up to fourth place. Picking his way through the rocks, taking his time, feet up, composed. Slicing through this crowd here. Already now up to second place as they go up the grandstands. And this is the move for the lead. Lettenbickler at the inside. Gethin Humphreys unable to respond. So smooth around this track, Letton Bickler. Is it going to be three straight wins for the German? Third in last year's World Championship, but the two riders that beat him, both now mixing it with the big boys in the prestige class. Letton Bickler, without a doubt, is going to be the man to beat this season in the junior class. Three straight wins for the German. A flawless performance showing maturity to dominate here in Poland. Well, it's a perfect start to his season, leaving here with a maximum of 60 points. Louis Oliveira there, two second places, takes him in a second place overall, beating the two British riders, Humphreys and Seeley, for third and fourth. But it's Manny Lettenbickler with his first ever Grand Prix win. Yeah, it's pretty good. I, I don't thought about it um, before, before the race, and so I'm pretty happy about it. Time for the prestige last race of the night, race three. And it's Johnny Walker with a slight advantage over Cody Webb. Tabby Vizuziak, the defending world champion. So all to play for in this, the final race of the evening. The gate drops, who's going to get the whole shot? Well, Teddy Blazuziak on the inside, Blazuziak gets pushed wide, goes straight into Colton Haker there. Oh, disaster then. Haker, well, there's Haker going over the logs into the, uh, into the tough blocks, and that's Blazuziak. Blazuziak trapped under his bike behind him. Well, it couldn't have gone any worse for those two off the start. As we go to our leaders, there's Taylor Robert out front on the number 33 bike. Cody Webb, absolutely. Well, Cody Webb goes by him as well. Webb wasting no time in this one. Webb knowing that this is for the overall and the lead in the World Championship. Where's Johnny Walker? Second in the first two races. There he is in third place at the moment. Well, he needs to get in front of that man leading at the moment as they charge up the grandstand. Cody Webb leading. Taylor Robert behind him. Johnny Walker just behind him. Two seconds to go. Oh, look at that. Andres Lidderson then. Brilliant ride from the junior rider food of last season. Showing he's definitely not scared to rub plastic with the big boys. Oh, Webb nearly going out the front door. So Cody Webb trying hard on his early laps. I want to try and settle down and find a rhythm around here. A lot easier said than done. Robert, neat and tidy through the rocks. And Robert actually just as happy doing 100 mile an hour across the desert. One of the uh, best desert racers from across the Atlantic. Now coming under pressure from the 22 of Johnny Walker. Oh, Walker, risking everything. He has to get in front of Cody Webb if he's to win this Grand Prix. Mazuziak all the way back down in 13th at the moment then three race wins here last season and i think i'm pretty safe in saying it's going to be no race wins for tani blazuziak this year so the three leaders not much between them at the moment walker desperately wants to get around the man in front of him taylor robert and then he has to get around the leader cody webb he's going to take this grand prix here he goes then up the inside of robert Oh, bar to bar over that jump. So he's done it. Now Walker in a second place. He's got to get close enough now to put the leader, Cody Webb, under pressure.
Cody Webb coming in here absolutely hot after back-to-back -back wins in the American Enduro Cross season. Two times now an American champion. Definitely bringing that race pace from just a couple of weeks ago with him, as is Taylor Robert. In a little while now. Since uh, Johnny Walker raced at this level of indoor super enduro. Robert over those logs safely. A little gap now between himself and Johnny Walker in second place. Cody Webbs keeping it composed at the front. studying for a uh, mechanical degree said he'd be a lot more prepared this season having got most of that out of the way for him and he's certainly looking like it here and if the americans were knocking on the door last season well this season they have kicked the door off its hinges they are here and they really are showing the europeans how to race super enduro on home soil cody webb has been absolutely brilliant tonight the winner of race one, crashed in race two, still managed to finish in sixth place. And barring any disasters, he's going to take the win here in race three. And there's the defending world champion, Taddy Blazuziak. He's had one of the worst nights I think we can remember. Crashes, it's all gone against him, but he will be back, that's for sure. We join Webb then on the last lap now. A man accused last year, really, of perhaps being a little bit soft on his competitors. But he's come in this season, the complete package, determined. Absolutely brilliant riding from the American. Confidence now, full of confidence. After winning that Enduro Cross title for the second time in two years, the American title. Cody Webb comes down now then to take his second ever Super Enduro Grand Prix overall win. And he's going to leave it with the World Championship lead. Webb now more than ever looks like the complete package it's going to be an interesting season Johnny Walker the number 22 crosses the line in second place again but it's a night that belongs to Cody Webb two race wins out of three starts that one by quite some margin great to see Alfredo Gomez finally show us some of his form from last season moving up into fourth in that last race ahead of our two graduates from the juniors Tremaine and Linnison and there's nothing between Webb and Walker at the top of the championship table. And what can you say about Taddy Blazuziak? Despite an absolutely disastrous evening by his own very high standards, he still manages to leave with third. Yeah, I mean, happy to be on the podium. I'm mostly happy that I walk away in one piece. It was a good one. Yeah, I think Co Cody's good everywhere. You know, there's not a track he, c he can't ride. He's tall. He can, he can literally do anything. So, you know, he's going to be tough to beat this year. It's going to be tough. Johnny's riding really good. Taddy's got speed. Taylor Robert, Colton Haker, but... You know, I got the win, really happy, and moving forward. This season is wide open. But one thing's for sure, Tony Blazuziak is going to want revenge in Germany. Will he get it? Join myself, Rob Warner, from round two in Riesa, Germany, in a few weeks' time to find out.